Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hello, Scorpios. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Scorpio. This is your September readings. Yes, so what does that mean? Well, bitch, that means we already did August. So if you missed August's readings, go and check it out. I've been doing a whole bunch of rounds of bonus readings for each zodiac sign. All right, here we go. Scorpio, September. Let's see what comes through for you guys, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It's, it's human connection, opening up, having conversations. Scorpios are not the most infamous for trusting people. Matter of fact, Scorpios don't trust nobody. And I mean nobody. They don't even trust themselves, really. So if a Scorpio trusts you, that goes far beyond and it's deeper than love because they can love you and not trust you. So this is an energy of someone here connecting and, and trusting someone. Someone is, is someone feels so like giddy. It's playfulness to recapture romance, right? Giddiness. There's like a giddy energy. Someone here is not necessarily a smiley motherfucker. But with this particular energy, the way they make you feel, makes you feel giddy. No, we're not taking all that spirit. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs. Five of, pen, uh, five of pentacles is feeling of abandonment. Someone in the past just doesn't want to put themselves, excuse me, someone currently, right, present day, avoids connection because in the past they've been in these connections where they were either left behind or had to leave someone it just never panned out it always fell through it never it never it never hit it never connected and so there's this fear of abandonment or fear of having to leave someone which now causes this person to be sort of standoffish they pull away Page of Pentacles, that could be an offer. It also is a younger earth sign, some kind of an offer. Feels like I just heard somebody say all shit offers. Some of you might be getting real shit offers right now. Join the club. <laughs> it's a collective thing. The real thing gonna come. See, there it is, the real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ace of Chalices, Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail, okay? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, every single thing you've ever wanted. But are you going to be open to it when it comes? The answer is yes, because I think that this is going to break down your walls, whatever this connection is or this person. It's like somebody here makes you laugh. Somebody makes you feel happy. Somebody brings out this side to you. Someone here might also be kind of eccentric and Scorpios love eccentric. Scorpios love mysterious. They love things that they cannot figure out. You know, they're, they're attracted to that. Four of Wands, New Beginnings, 11-11, Ten of Pentacles, Long Term. So, you know, someone here is definitely going to get themselves into a relationship. Someone could also be buying a house or there's something connected here with a house. Because Ten of Pentacles can be abundance, financial abundance. Four of Wands is, could be home. Could also be extreme stability too. Three of the Swords. See, I told you, that heartbreak from earlier, they're afraid. Someone here is just afraid to open up and connect because in the past it didn't work out so well. The devil. Scorpios can be possessive. Uh, they can be obsessive. That's Capricorn energy though as well. The devil is about addictions and codependencies. and I mean, I feel like someone's, someone's old version of themselves is like, yo, I get into some shit. And I can be really jealous. I can be really like over the top. Or or I seem to only attract in people like that. And I'm just not about that. And it's like, I get that. Okay, of course. But be picky and choosy with who you entertain. Okay? If you meet someone and they're like toxic and low vibes and, and treating you like that way or very obsessive and possessive, it's a no. It doesn't mean you have to say yes and stay with somebody. Everything is is not concrete when it comes to that, right? have boundaries you have remain positive and recovery 
Somebody here could be recovering from something body, mind, soul. Collectively, we are feeling this sort of, well, collectively, not only are we feeling it, but we've experienced a lot of health issues. Um, for some, it was just mental, mental health issues. But for a lot of us, it was physical. Many of us are healing. Our bodies are healing because we're going through something. It's a collective energy right now of being paranoid, of being anxious. Scorpio, you're a super intuitive sign. Okay, and also if you're the cross watcher and you're intuitive as well. Many of you may have been feeling that, right? Feeling like something's not right. Why do I feel like I'm having a heart attack? Why do I have my stomach sore? And for many of you, as I always tell you, never self-diagnose yourself. Always get it checked out. So many of you have gone to the doctors, gone to the hospital, run all these tests. They're not finding nothing. But why do I still have this heart pain? Then we kind of go, oh my God, I think it could be my heart chakra, right? But we never self-diagnose ourselves. But what we know to be true is that our bodies are, are the, we are like these light beings, right? Stuck in these muggle bodies. And so not only that, because we emit this vibration and frequency, we adapt and we, ch well, not adapt, but we change the energy in the room, right? When we walk in there. So for example, if you're in, in and energy is contagious. So if you are trapped in a place, all of your windows are closed. You're in a place, a workplace where it's real toxic. People just gossip and talk shit about everybody and everybody's low vibe, everybody's whatever. It can affect the way you feel, not just emotionally, but also physically, okay? This is why it's super important to sage your home or your office or to go out into the sunshine, open your windows, let the air clear so there's no stagnancy because energy is trapped. We are energetic beings. We emit that frequency and energy, okay? So recovering from what all of the above for some of you recovering here some of you are healing some of you are healing a broken heart right with that three of swords earlier it's a collective energy of us all sort of licking our wounds and healing okay so you're not alone i promise you you also have yes with that exclamation mark so for some of you right you have your main positive was your first card for some of you you wanted to give up why am I still doing this? This doesn't make any fucking sense. Remaining positive is the key, right? Because we put out that frequency into the universe to say, okay, okay, universe, I get it. I'm holding on. Despair. And you have thoughts. So there could be an energy here, someone that you may have been with in the past that's still thinking about you, possibly. But it's not necessarily thinking about you like, hey, I want to get back together, but thinking about you in this sense of knowing they fucked up, right? And despair. Someone here also is not at their highest level vibration. They're feeling a little bit, I don't want to use the word discouraged or betrayed or any of those things, but they feel very like, like they feel like there's no hope. They're thinking about it. Well, there's no hope. You know, Scorpios can infamous are infamously known to be um, oh, pessimists. They could be very pe pessimistic. So someone here may have the, kind of like the Eeyore vibe, you know, like in Winnie the Pooh. It's all right. It's never going to work out anyway. You know, that kind of a vibe. And people who argue about that, then you just don't have that kind of Scorpios characteristics in your chart. Okay, because it also depends what we have as far as our moon sign. It also depends about all this other shit too. But because you have the dark side and the, and, the, and the other sides of each zodiac sign. So a lot of people who have strong Scorpio, they are. They're a little bit glass, half empty kind of a, a vibe. Um, but there's definitely something here about the thoughts. You have the ace of wands. And as you can see in this deck, that third eye is on fire. So someone here is definitely creating something or thinking about something or someone. And it could be an obsessive sort of thinking about them as well too. Eight of Cups. Having to walk away. See how she's walking towards the sun, right? And so because she's walking towards the sun, it's sort of like her turning to, I mean, it's new dawn, new day. So she's leaving something behind here and walking towards a new beginning. The sun is also quite symbolic of healing. And so you see, again, we're talking about healing. Strong healing vibes here. The lovers. And you have the empress. You know, I'm sure you can hear the siren in the background, Archangel Michael. 
So the lovers here is Gemini energy. The lovers is also someone who is just very physically attracted to someone else. They have magnetic pull, right? This can be about having to make a decision in love, but I don't feel that in this moment. This feels like magnetic pull towards each other. It's, it's, this is why I said, like, they're going to crack you open, right? You're going to be giddy. You're going to feel like, oh my God, I cannot believe that I feel like I want to talk to this person because I don't want to talk to anybody. And there's a sense here of wonder. Somebody here is like curious. You also have the Empress. See that birth of something new too. Someone here is curious. They are, um, it's like you pique their interest or they can't stop thinking about you. It's going to be that kind of an energy of can't get you out of my head or I can't figure this out. You have addiction. Told you. Uh, that's that devil energy earlier codependent obsession possession controlling has a block or a restraint so many of you in the past have gone through those types of situations where you may have been in a codependent relationship maybe you slightly possessive or obsessive and that ain't gonna fly in a healthy relationship honey that is low vibes shit so somebody here may have been working through that part of themselves to not be codependent if, if i if you can't this is the rule of thumb if you cannot be happy alone, you cannot be happy in a connection. You cannot. You cannot find and seek happiness and strength and blah, blah, blah in another person. That comes from self. Another person helps us amplify and helps bring to the surface those things with us. But it comes from you. And if you're not happy alone, you will not be happy in a relationship. Second card here is paradise. You have playfulness twice. It literally says Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. So that playful energy. And then the mask, not showing true feelings and shit, right? Wanting to wanting to hide it and pretend. And it's like life is too goddamn short to be fucking around. It's just it just is. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get into your guys extended. Should you wish to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. It's gonna bring up the description page here on YouTube. First link will take you to my website, saltwaterheroestarot.com. And it's going to be in the September Extended Readings. Also, my Patreon link is below. If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there, as well as bonus ones. Also, only Patreons, excuse me, only patrons on Patreon will be able to rewatch my lives here on YouTube. I just did a live earlier, too. So, um, what else? All my information is below. The only thing I'm doing right now, as far as readings go, are emergencies. I'm not accepting any new requests because I have this huge list of those that need I need to catch up on. Now, this is the rule of thumb. If you didn't hear from me or get an email, then it's not ready yet, <laughs> okay? Um, also, my new Malachite bracelets are available for pre-order on my website as well, okay? My two new Magic Moon Waters, I have my Sage Protection one, as well as my Cloud Nine, which is gonna be for like happiness and calm and joy and bliss, okay? So, Scorpios, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I will see you in the extended. Love you.